Hi everyone, Monisha here. So this is the last episode of chemical reactions and equations. In this video, I will be explaining about the very important topic that is corrosion and rancidity. Corrosion and rancidity is a usual question in your board exam. So please concentrate till the end and don't run away in the middle. Let us start the session. First, we need to know what is shelf life. Each and every object or thing have shelf life of its own. Everything, even human beings have an expiry date. So likewise, we need to know shelf life of each and every product. The shelf life of a product refers to the length of time a product may be stored without becoming unsuitable for use or consumption. So that time is said to be shelf life. After the shelf life of a product has reached, the food undergoes processes which results in rancidity. Rancidity means foul. So shelf life is a time at which any product will reach its, its certain expiry date. So that is the meaning of shelf life. You might have seen in various products best before has been written. So that is the expiry date or the shelf life of a particular product. So these are the example of products and their shelf life stamps. So we have to know first what are the factors that affects the food shelf life. First is changes in water content. Changes in water content result of contact with the air. Example, moist foods becoming dry. Dry fruit absorb water vapor from air, become moist, vulnerable to microbial degradation. Increase exposure to air, increase the rate of oxidation. Decrease in nutrient value, discoloration of the surface, rancidity. Second day is chemical reaction. Result in pH changes, development of other undesirable flavors, color changes in the food, decrease in nutritional value. Third one, light. Provides energy for photochemical reaction to occur. Rancidity, fading of the color, oxidation of the nutrients or vitamins. Next is temperature. Increase in temperature increases in the rate of degradation of food. Water molecules will either chemically bonded to carbohydrate or protein polar groups. You might have observed any food which is kept outside will become rancid soon, whereas the food which is kept in the refrigerator because of its freezing temperature, microbial activity will be less, so it will not spoil soon. So we have to know what is rancidity. Rancidity is the development of unpleasant smell in fats or oils, which are often accompanied by changes in their texture and appearance. Two types of rancidity hydrolytic rancidity and oxidative rancidity. So these are two types of rancidity. So usually rancidity is the foul smell happens in fats and oils. Examples of rancid food. Any food which is kept for long becomes foul. So this is the example for rancid food. Factors causing rancidity. Catalyst trace metal ions and inorganic salts, second temperature, amount of PUFA, time, light and water. So these are the main factors which causes a rancidity. Harmful effects of rancid food. If we consume those food which has crossed its expiry date, then these are the effects which we are going to face. It leads to deficiencies such as anemia that is loss of blood, hair loss and dermatitis. Dermatitis is the skin lesions or the skin disease and hair loss, kidney and heart disease, neurodegeneration and finally cancer. So these are the harmful effects of rancid food. The food which has crossed its expiry date, we should not consume those food. Examples of anemia, cancer cells and dermatitis. Food high in lipids. That is the food which is high in fat content. Potato chips, butter, meat, cod liver oil, dry fruits. And these will 
quickly become rancid because of its high form of lipid content. Each and every problem has its own solution. In the same way, there are methods to prevent rancidity. Antioxidants are added to some foods to slow down oxidative deterioration, such as BHA and BHT. Vacuum packaging to keep oxygen out. Adding inert gases, such as nitrogen, to the bag to replace the oxygen. Refrigeration will reduce the rate of most reactions that take part in rancidity. Packaging food protected from light. So these are various ways to prevent rancidity. Next let us know about the very important topic, corrosion. So what is corrosion? Corrosion is the deterioration of materials by chemical or electrochemical interaction with their environment. For example, rusting. Observation with fine metals. You can see iron, appearance when pure and appearance after corrosion. Next is silver, appearance when it is pure and appearance after corrosion. In the same way, copper, lead and aluminium before corrosion and after corrosion. There are various agents which aid for the corrosion. So these are the main reasons for the corrosion that are acids, alkalis, salts, water and oxygen. Effects of corrosion. There are various effects of corrosion. It reduces strength of a material. Lifetime of that particular material is reduced. Metallic properties of that particular rusted material losses and wastage of the metal. So these are the serious effects and which also reduces the economy level of our country by this corrosion. Examples of corrosion, microbial corrosion, galvanized corrosion, gold nuggets and rust. These are the different types of corrosion which happens in the exterior of the metals. Chemical equation for corrosion, Fe2O3 dot XH2O. This X, X can be any water of crystallization. It can be 2H2O, 10H2O, etc. So, the chemical equation is Fe2O3 dot XH2O. X can be any natural number. Different types of corrosion. Uniform, galvanic, pitting, stress, microbial and erosion. So these are the different kinds of corrosion which happens on the exterior of the metal in industries, in shipbuilding industries, automobile, etc. So which also reduces the economy level with yearly basis because of the huge amount of corrosion. Forms of corrosion. There are different forms of corrosion apart from the types of corrosion. Corrosion may be classified in different ways. Wet or aqueous corrosion and dry corrosion room temperature or high temperature corrosion okay so these are the different types of corrosion in corrosion in the first classification wet and dry corrosion in the second classification room temperature and high temperature corrosion also takes place for every problem there is a solution as i already told you so we have to take care of prevention also so prevention of corrosion the huge annual loss due to corrosion is a national waste and should be minimized materials already exist which if properly used can eliminate 80% of corrosion loss. Proper understanding of the basics of the corrosion and incorporation in the initial design of metallic structures is essential. Let us know what are the methods for prevention of corrosion. First is galvanization. Galvanization is to coat with the thin layer of metal by electrochemical means to electroplate. Next is electrolyte. A substance that in solution or when molten ionizes and conducts electricity. Next is sacrificial coating. A metal coating that is more likely to be oxidized than the metal it protects. Let us move on to the last section that is summarization. Corrosion occurs due to the natural tendency of metals to give up electrons. Electrons are given up by an oxidation reaction. These electrons then are part of reduction reaction also. Metals with more negative standard electrode potential 
are more likely to corrode relate you to other metals so let us know about or summarization of rancidity rancidity is a term generally used to denote a condition of unpleasant odor and flavor in food resulting from deterioration in the fat and oil portion of the food there are three types of rancidity hydrolytic rancidity oxidative rancidity and microbial rancidity there is no need of explanation because in your syllabus there is only the types and explanation of the definition so this was the last episode of chemical reaction chapter if you have any queries suggestions please comment in the comments comment section thank you and thanks for watching keep supporting like this